everybody. So you guys really liked my last video, so I decided to do another Vegan Cuts snack taste test. So Vegan Cuts was really nice and sent me a box to review for you and to taste test. And if you check down below, I have a link so you guys can get your own and they know I sent you. And before you guys do any of that, check out my other social media. My Instagram has a lot of up-to-date things on like what I eat in the day and foods that I like to cook and recipes are on my Insta story all the time. So check it out. You will like it. And I'm sweating again. My cheeks are getting red already. So I'm going to start the video. So let's see what's inside. So this is, so this is the February snack box, even though it's March when I post this. So the first thing I got is is this Soylent, one bottle, one meal replacement with 20% daily nutrition, plant-based, low glycemic index, and an excellent value. And first of all, I love the packaging. I love like it's just clean, solid white. I'm definitely more inclined to like trying these vegan meal replacement things because I am so busy that right now it's not realistic for me to like cook all the time. So this seems like it'll be really useful for me. I have no idea what it tastes like, but hopefully, It'll taste good. So the next thing that I got is the Ultima Replenisher Electrolyte Powder Sample Pack. So I guess this is really good after you work out and I have started going to the gym again. It is rough, but I will definitely be putting this in my water. All right, now we're on to like the foodie foodie stuff, right? So here we got Neat, a healthy, what is this? I thought this was like an egg replacement when I first saw it, but it's a meat replacement. That is so cool. So we've got the Neat, a healthy replacement for meat. I guess it's a ground beef replacement. This will be so good. I was thinking about making like a shepherd's pie this week. It's just made out of like pecans, garbanzo beans, gluten-free whole grain oats. I don't see anything in here that's not like a whole food, which is why I kind of stay away from like meat replacements because they're not whole foods and they're just, they're just full of like soy protein isolate. And if I'm gonna eat like a whole solid meal, I want like a whole food. Meal, does that make sense? Does that make sense? I want to eat something now so bad. So now we've got these turmeric chips, super grain mini waves. I love like ridged chips. Is that what this is? Oh my god. So I guess they're turmeric, turmeric flavored. I don't know how anyone says that. All I know is that I grew up eating a lot of turmeric. It's so loud. Mmm. Ooh, how funny. They are little ruffle, they are little ruffle chips, and I guess they have something inside, which is this multigrain thing. It has algae protein. Oh, crispy pumpkin is the flavor. Oh my god, they're so good. They're almost like a puffed potato chip or like a baked potato chip, but like if a baked potato chip and a non-baked potato chip with ridges had a baby, this is what they would taste like. I don't taste like the pumpkin as much, but I don't know if that's the flavor or what they're made out of. Oh yeah, they're flavored with pumpkin. Cool, it has zero trans fat, no cholesterol. Mm, these are really good, I want another one, but I need to save my appetite. Okay, oh, that's such a like silly thing to get excited over, but look at these! These are chipotle taco flavored popcorn, like spiced and infused. I love popcorn, I love tacos, I'm gonna love this. It sounds salty, salty, salty. Ooh, oh, they look like, like this, Whenever I used to go to the Indian market, they would have these like popcorn kind of things and they were spiced like this. And it's just bringing me back to my childhood and my spicy snacks. Let's try it. It doesn't have as much flavor as I expected. Here, let me try one that's like really powdery. Did, did any of you, when you're eating popcorn, you try to get the butteriest, saltiest piece? Cause that's me. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. They're really light on, ooh, that one has a little tang in it afterwards. They really are light on flavor. I can taste the sunflower oil more than the spices, honestly. And I don't know if that's because there's not as much salt on it and or if it's just because the oil is one of the first ingredients. I don't know. But yeah, this is okay. Not putting in my favorite pile, but it was good. Oh my god. I loved these in the last review I did. I ate them all after the video, just like that and like the buttered popcorn from the last video I did. If you haven't seen it, click here. These are so good. They're like tiny little breadsticks. I love them. These are the peas, please, in the garden herb flavor. I really don't need to try these, but I want to. Yup, they just taste like little breadsticks. Like, oh my gosh, how could you not like that? What is this? The Girly Goods Original Fruit and Nut. It has organic bananas, cashews, pecans, coconut, walnuts, raisins, coconut nectar, sea salt, Let's try it out. Oh, they're just these little fruit clusters. They look good. I'm not a big nut person. I can't be perfect. 
I dropped it all on my floor too, so that's nice. Oh my God, they're so sticky. It gets better the longer you chew it, but it's definitely not like in your face amazing. And it kind of progresses to taste more like a Lara bar. I don't know, it's pretty good. I like that, I would eat that. I see chocolate in here. Now we have the Keep Healthy Chocolate Covered Cherries. I love chocolate, I love chocolate covered fruit. I'm all about that. I used to love the Cadbury Fruit and Nut Bars, but those aren't vegan, so hopefully. This will be just as good. Ooh, it's like a little candy bar. My body's like shaking because I haven't had like processed sugar in so long. These are the best things I've ever had in my life. I'm drooling. I just spit all over myself. These are so flipping good. I don't know how anything's gonna top this. It is so yummy. It tastes like kind of chocolate covered craisins. And I love craisins. It's This is like so sugary sweet and delicious. You, I mean, you have to go get this. I'm editing right now and I just realized how freaking insane I look right there. So good. Okay, so now we have, so now we have the Pretzel No-Nos by No Way Food and these are the milk chocolatey candies. I'm gonna try blue because that's my favorite color. So they're like crunchy in the middle. And they taste like those crunchy M&Ms. Do you see how cute they are? So my last video I had all these snacks left over and I wanted to like, get my non-vegan friends to try it. So next bachelor and I, guess who brought all the snacks? Me, and guess what? Everyone loves them. And these are so totally something I would bring to the next bachelor night. So here we have the Emmy's Dark Cacao Organic Coconut Cookie. Okay, that was weird. Does anyone else's canon just like spontaneously turn off? Cause mine does. Anyways, what I was saying about the cookie is that it just, I mean, it kind of looks like this really, it kind of looks how it tastes like. It's very like mealy and gritty and I don't know if I'd call it a cookie, but I would call it like, I don't know. <laughs> not my favorite, moving on. So last, but certainly not least, because America's favorite candy, I don't know if that's true, I'm just saying stuff right now, is, this is the Unreal Dark Chocolate and Almond Butter. I have never had a dark chocolate and almond butter cup but there's a first time for everything. So oh, I was trying to like peel the sides. There's no paper on it. <laughs> Yay. So good. Oh my God. You can taste the almond, which makes such a big difference. This is definitely one of my favorites, for sure. So my favorite salty snacks are the turmeric chips and the peas please, same as last time. And my two favorite, and my two favorite, <laughs> And my two favorite sweet snacks are the Unreal Almond Butter Cup and the chocolate covered cherries, which I am not going to be able to not eat the whole thing. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please be sure to check out the link down below so they know you've watched and that you want to get a box of your own. I really think it's a good idea, especially if you have like St. Patrick's Day stuff coming up or any like that family gathering. I think it's fun to kind of open these and try these with other people and show them that being vegan can be delicious and cool. And I don't know why I'm talking with my arms so much, but yeah, I'm really excited to share this with you guys. All right, see you guys next time in a new video. Bye.